Miriam Chaya was a daughter of Rebbe Meir of Primishlan, who treated her as someone with an elevated soul and revealed to her many awesome secrets that cannot be fathomed by the ordinary human mind. Once, when Miriam Chaya was still a girl, another tzaddik visited Rebbe Meir, who pointed to the tray of refreshments on the table and said to his guest, do you see how my daughter arranged this tray? I tell you, the only thing she's lacking to be a Rebbe is the fur hat, the spotek. Notice the Kabbalistic intentions she had in arranging the tray. She put the milk, which is white and sweet, to the right, which signifies the divine cosmic quality of chesed, loving kindness. The black coffee is dark and bitter, so it is on the left, which signifies gvura, severity. She put the sugar below them in the middle because it signifies the quality of tiferet, beautiful balance. In the Kabbalistic tree of life, the ten sefirot, divine emanations, are arranged in three columns, left, right, and central. Someone who knows Kabbalistic secrets arranges all things in their proper places. One mystic goal is to properly balance Chesed and Gevura into Ferret. A Kabbalist tries to sweeten or ameliorate Gevura with Chesed because an excess of Gevura produces adverse events, dinim or judgments, in a person's life. This story comes from Jewish Tales of Holy Women by Yitzchak Buxbaum.